is Elizabeth Stravoravdi. I've been a member of Notting Hill Community Church for several years now, but I'm also the missions coordinator at Notting Hill Community Church. The motivation behind what I do is to support these children who do not get support from anywhere else. Unfortunately, their government is not able to provide them with basic education. And if, if we didn't go out there, I don't think these children would be at school at all. We're talking about two schools, and we support at least 43 individual children. Um, they wouldn't be at school, they wouldn't be able to read and write. That's what motivates me, because I myself am a, mo I'm a mother, I have children, and I believe that all children have a right to education. As a group, all of us ballers at UHUK believe that education, the education of Asian children, is the way forward for Haiti. Haitian children are the future of Haiti and they need to be formed and educated and uh, just and have the same things that all children all over the world are fully entitled to. We just felt such a need to do something and to give back. As a diaspora, you know, living out of Haiti, we know the importance of giving back to our country and we have such a passion, such a love for our country and for our people. Ever since the earthquake in 2010, um, we've been having various events at Notting Hill Community Church in an attempt to raise funds. Uh, most of them have been bazaars or art exhibitions, but we've never had a concert before. This year we should try a different kind of art and um, we saw that people were interested so this is why we had um, a Latin and jazz concert with a little bit of Calypso. The artists um, had no problem in coming forward um, I found that I was overwhelmed by kindness and generosity of heart by the artistic community. And we want to see Haiti do more and do have a brighter future really because it's been marred by disaster after disaster, natural disasters, um, political unrest. Um, there's so many things that Haiti's been hit with. But we keep standing and I think we're very determined, determined people, very strong people. We're very proud and honored to be fighting for, for our country and making sure that a difference does happen. 